Yo, what's up, everybody? What's going on? Um, I'm coming straight to the point. Right now, I'm on a spiritual journey to get closer to the Lord. Um, I do a lot of reels because I don't know. It's like something comes to me to do it. I don't know. I try to talk to God more, pray more. Just trying to change my life, which I know I got a long road ahead. And so I'm on this spiritual journey to try to get closer to God because we don't know when tomorrow is going to be when God decides that's it. You know what, what gets me? <laughs> that I go on TikTok, Instagram. YouTube, Facebook, and there's a lot of people that call themselves prophets. They preach the word of God. They say the word of God. But God always says, you know, Jesus always say, watch out for the false prophets. So my thing is me. If you own these platform and you preaching the word and you call yourself a prophet when somebody hits you up it's going to be somebody who watch your channel watch your thing and just hits you up and you don't respond back then you're a false prophet to me because that person could be going through something right now, happen to show your video, and reach out to you. They reach out to you because they need your prayer, they need your word, they need something. And you don't respond back to their messages. It could be you get a bunch of messages, you don't have time for it. But if you truly a prophet, if you truly hear God talking to you, or hear Jesus talking to you, and that person reaching out for you because he's in pain or they're hurting and you don't respond to it, then you're a false prophet. I don't know where this coming from, but something said I had to do this video. Somebody, you know, it, it, I had to, I don't know what it was, but it was eating at me for a while, so I just had to do this video. So you can share this video, you can comment on this video, but right now, we all need God. We all need Jesus. We looking at how the government, the Republicans in the House talk about they want to crash the economy because they want to get rid of this spending, that spending, which we know that's a bunch of bull crap because they want to they want to eliminate Social Security and Medicaid that people need. And, and my belief is they want to crash the economy so they can buy up everything to help get Trump back in the office. See, Trump is the if he ain't the Antichrist, he's the guy going to trigger the Antichrist. And he got a bunch of followers behind him. See, the Antichrist getting followers. Just like Jesus got his followers, the Antichrist getting his followers. And I really think that there's a lot of the Antichrist getting his followers. We look at storms. We look at the weather was in California. We look at the tornadoes. We look at how the world is is going. Of how the world is reacting. We are in Amaga, uh, We are in, in the stage of the of the ending of the world. So I'm trying to get myself together. I'm not perfect. I, man, I mess up every day. 
I think the only time I don't mess up when I'm asleep. I just ask God to continue forgiving me, blessing me. I pray for him to just touch me, to whisper in my ear, to tell me you love me because I want to hear it. I want to feel it. I know he loved me, but it's like a son need to hear that from his father. Because I'm on a spiritual journey, and I have so many, so many, the, the, you know, the angels pulling me one way, the devil angels pulling me one, one way. I just need him to tell me, son, is that, you know, I just need my father, my heavenly father to tell me, to make me feel it. And I'm on a spiritual journey because I want to get close to God. I'm doing whatever I can take. And I know it ain't enough, but I'm trying. But my thing is, when I go on social media and I see these people call themselves prophets and they're preaching, you know, and they and they say they, 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 they hearing God telling them this and God telling them that. And I got to help them wonder, is it true or not? Because Jesus said, watch out for false prophets. And a lot of people will use God to make a prophet. Prophet. Can't use God to get likes, to get comments, to get subscribers, to get some profit. And then when somebody hits you up, because they might be going through something. They might be at a bad time right now. At a bad time. And they got your videos. And they're hearing you. And they just hit you up. Please can you. Yo so and so and so. Or miss so and so. Or, or sir so and so. I'm going through something right now. Pray for me. Because if you're a prophet. God would tell you. Example. I hit someone up. Say, I'm going through something like a bad time, so and so. Can you pray for me? The person didn't even respond. So, my thing is if you hear, if you hear God, and I might be wrong how God works, I'm learning, but it, it makes me feel like God would have said, Yo, James, after, after that message, James had, had, had responded to you, I oh, want Respond back to him because he need to hear something from you that can make him open his heart more. So, you know, as an example, if you don't do it, man, that's just from you a false prophet. And I pray for you that it, you're not using God. We know Paula White, Joe Osteen, Cleflo Dollar, they false prophets. They're making a profit. Yeah, but they call this a profit. But there's a lot of other ones here that use TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, social media to say they are profit. Say they are a person of God. When somebody reach out, you can reach out and back. Come on, man. Let's stop this right here, right now. So I just want to do this video, man. I'm trying to get some sleep. I got, I got so much things in my head right now. So much things in my head. My head is turning and turning. I can't sleep. I got I got to get up in the next three and a half hours to go to work. I just ask you pray for me because I'm on a spiritual journey. I'm on a journey to live for Christ, live for the Lord. Stop being a false prophet. Stop using God. Forget to get likes and views and subscribers and profit.